Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about question and answer in Microsoft Teams. This capability until now was only available for Teams Live event. In fact, Microsoft has finally published a new brand app that allows you to add this feature to a normal Teams meeting or webinar. So organizer can finally pin the most important question on top or can moderate question and answer so every attendee can take advantage by common question and answer. Okay, let's jump on my PC and I show you how you can add this feature to a normal Teams meeting. Here I am in Microsoft Teams desktop and I have the calendar open. Let's start to see how to add question and answer to a normal Teams meeting. You have to weigh. You can click here in the three dots or apps below and then you can search for question and answer. And here we go. This is the application that will help you to have this feature in your normal meeting. And here you can see all languages supported. Now here you have the option to add this app to a specific chat or to a meeting. Let me close now this window because I'm going to add the question and answer directly in the meeting page. Then let me open this question and answer session that I have. Here I have two participants to this meeting just to show you how it works question and answer. On top here I can click on the plus button to add a new tab. And now here in the search box I can type Q&A. The question and answer the new brand app shows up and here I can click on it. Now I can confirm the add button and this app will be added to this meeting. Before to go directly on the question and answer page, you have to configure something. Here you can enable or disable the ability to formulate questions from the attendees and other attendees maybe can conversate or can reply to a specific question. So you can have an open discussion on a question, for example. So you can uncheck or check this option. Keeping this checked, you will have the full capabilities of this app. Then below there is another important option. This is the moderate attendee conversations. And this is very important because if you check this option, everybody can ask something and this question will appear immediately in the app. There's no moderation. However, if you check this option, you can not turn off later. So keep in mind that this option is very important and how you want to moderate this question and answer. If you want to have a moderator, check this option and then click on save. And here we go. Now I have the question and answer app available for this meeting. This is the UI of this app. And here we have three tabs in review if you have the moderation option enabled, publish it and dismiss it. Here there is a drop down. Here you can start a discussion or you can ask a question. And here in the right panel, I can see the, all my options for this question and answer session. Okay, all good, it's time to join the meeting. Here I joined this meeting. Before to start the session, let me set properly the meeting options. I will click on the ellipsis button and then meeting options. Now, if I want to be the only one that can moderate the question and answers session, I have to select this dropdown and then I have to select only me. However, if you want to have an help or a support during the moderation of the question and answer session, you can elevate privileges for the attendees. So you can, for example, choose an attendee and then you can make this attendee as presenter. So he or she can help you during the question and answer session. Okay, let me close now these meeting options and let's start this meeting. Here we go, I am now in the meeting with all attendees. Here on the left, I have here the perspective from a Teams desktop app. I am connected as Giuliano here. Below, I have even a, another perspective, a mobile perspective. 
and I am connected as Adele Evans. And on the right, I am connected as Diego Siciliani in the browser. That means I'm using the web version of Teams. Now, with Diego Siciliani, if I click on the chat icon, I have access to the question and answer page. And here, as a normal attendee, I don't have all options available to publish or not questions. If I want to have support by Diego Siciliani, I have to go here, click next to the name of the attendee on the three dots and then make Diego Siciliani as presenter. In this way, he will have full capabilities and full options available here in the question and answer hub. But now let's keep it as is and let's start, let's start to formulate a question here. Let me start from mobile. I'm using now the perspective of Adele Events. And clicking on the three dots, I have the question and answer app available here. So here I can formulate my first question. How I can do that? Just a normal question. Here I have also option to better style and configure better the text of my question. Let me tap now on post. And now the question is not yet visible because I have to moderate this question. And all I need to do now is click here as a organizer of the meeting and as presenter, click here on the question and answer icon available in the desktop version of Teams. Now I can see the question of Adele. So I can dismiss this question or I can publish. Let me click on publish. And if I go back now, in the mobile experience and if I open again the question and answer app I can see that the new question is now posted. Now as Diego Siciliani I can open the question and answer page directly clicking on chat and then I have the question and answer app available here. I can see now the question coming and as attendee I can comment this question. You can use this tool so I can click on the button post and now I added my answer to this question. I can do the same as organizer or presenter, of course, but now there is, there is more. So going uh, as organizer on the Published option tab, I can here display the, the answer provided by Diego Siciliani and I can even mark this answer as the best answer. And this can be done even by Adele, Adele Events, so the user that has formulated this question. So let me do that now from the mobile. And now I marked this answer as the best answer. As presenter of this meeting, I can click next to the question of Adele Events on this three dots icon, and then I can decide to delete it, to close the conversation for this question, and I can even pin this conversation on top so it will be always available for everybody in the meeting. But now I want to close the questions and answers session and in order to do that, I have to jump back in the Teams meeting page. And here now on the right in the question and answer settings, I can uncheck ask new questions and I can uncheck respond to conversation. Clicking on save, now this question and answer session is closed and as you can see here immediately from the mobile view Adele Events can no longer add additional questions to this session. I hope that in the future there will be a better integration between question and answer and chat because now you have two entries where you can write. You have the classic chat conversation and then you have this new question and answer and this could be a little bit confusing for the attendees. I hope that Microsoft will step in here with some kind of better integration. Okay, we have seen in this video how to add questions and answers to our normal Teams meeting or webinar. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and comment to support my channel and to stay tuned with my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!